I did. I I had it turned down just like there. You want more more down? Okay. Well, I think you can see it okay. a lot better. Okay, while we're taking care of the lights, can I see a show of hands for anybody that has made at least one, one modern quilt? It's great. I feel like my tribe is out there. How's that? Okay. So modern quilting trends for 2024. Modern quilts have been around for a while, but became more popular in the 2000s. Martha Stewart featured Denise Schmidt's quilts on one of her shows, and since then, Denise has been considered the mother of the modern quilt movement. Here are a couple of her quilts. So what makes a quilt modern? Solids typically are the star of modern quilts. Color, usually bold. Pattern size, usually large. And shapes, usually geometric. Very few flowers, very few stars, as they have in more traditional quilts. And lots of negative space that enhances the overall design. Now, not all trends are new. I see 2024 trends like bright colors and large scale patterns have been in modern quilting since the inception. But this year, there are a few new trends and we're gonna go through eight different trends. Today, we'll do the Pantone color of the year, geometrics, fusion quilts, and stitching, modern improv, modern wearables, digital printing, and modern applique. Okay, Pantone color of the year. Let's see who was paying attention to Linda's talk about this color. Does anybody remember? Peach buds. How is it used? Well, they're used to create color trends in fashion, paint, and household goods, fabrics and textiles, and other marketing outlets. Next is a peak, a peak at past colors. So what we notice about past colors is they're bold, bright, and saturated, which are also the same um, metaphors that you might describe modern quilts by. And again, the Pantone color of the year is Beach Buzz. This is how it's supposed to make you feel. Uh. <laughs> Note how soft and snuggly these quilts appear. That's the intention of the choice of the Peach Buzz to calm ourselves and make us relax more into the color. Next are geometric patterns. They're a mainstay, of course, of modern quilting, but, but specifically this year, one more than other really shine. Here we can see that the um, geometric triangle has become the darling of the quilting. And uh, in fusions, you also see uh, triangles, but you see hexagons, stripes, and even stars of various patterns appearing. Trend number four is hand stitching. Beautiful. This sort of, again, points to the nostalgic feel that we're going for when we look at modern quilting trends like peach buzz. And here's a lovely example of Sashi Coat quilting. It creates a richness to the quilt design. Trend number five is modern quilting improv, which is simply the idea of taking two pieces of fabric together and 
building on that one step at a time without a pattern. Use scissors if you like, there are no rules to improv. And here's a few examples. At PIQF, I was fascinated by the following quilt. It was her very first attempt at making a modern improv quilt. Right? Annette Meyer Grunwald, keep an eye on her. The next trend is modern wearables. They are everywhere this year. And this is definitely more of a trend than I have seen in the past, although they did appear, um, you know, hither and yon. They're really out there this year. The lovely softness of these scarves really points again to the soothing that we're trying to achieve. Here are a couple of examples of modern quilting used in jackets. And our own Sharon Fry. has agreed to share her quilted jacket, proving once again that she was an early adopter. Well, when Tony, when Tony asked me to wear something that was modern, I went through my closet and I was thinking I didn't have anything that was modern. So the closest thing that I came to was <laughs> That's pretty. The closest that I came to, it has a lot of solid colors, it has negative spaces, it has geometrics in it, and it has um, lots of quilting. But I was, I was doing some research and I was having trouble and I made a list of what I thought modern was. And I was talking to my sister in Florida, some of you have met her. And I thought, okay, bold, striking graphics, large scale prints, geometric shapes, large amounts of white or plain fabric to make other elements stand out, negative space, asymmetry, um, minimalist aesthetic, that's hard to say, focus on simplicity, bold colors, straight lines, lack of traditional patterns, or take a traditional pattern such as a log cabin and make it modern, improv piecing, minimal embellishing, <laughs> and craftsmanship of machine quilting. So I took all those things into consideration, and this is what I eventually came up with. This is not the day to be putting on more clothes. <laughs> That's really funny. So Tony caught me at the last meeting. <laughs> Tony caught me and said, you know, here, here's a picture of um, a jacket with some, you don't have to do anything really fancy. So jacket translated into this. So I took a picture and I sent it to my sister. And um, she came back with a critique. <laughs> now, my sister has a master's degree in international business as well as in art. And she said, the cascading triangles give it a strong rhythm. <laughs> the saturated colors hold their own with the strong black and white. All the solid colors give the brain a place to rest from the patterns. The vertical back, you know, um, 
our short statures a lift. <laughs> okay, that's coming from an artist. I didn't mention my sewing skills. <laughs> and I did change all the buttons. So tell me, this is because of you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have modern wearables in hats. Love a bucket hat. And in bags. This was my Mother's Day gift this year, y'all. My daughter was right on trend. And I know you can't wear these, but I've got to make these baskets. I just love them and I love the way they've uh, laid them out in color, rainbow order. The next trend is digital printing. It's becoming much more common now than it was five years ago. And you can outsource from places like Spoonflower or do printing on your home computer, either on fabric sheets or make your own with freezer paper and fabric. You just iron the freezer paper onto the fabric and you feed it through your printer. If you do use your printer, I do recommend drying your ink overnight and heat setting before you use it. And last is modern applique. Bigger, bolder applique pieces not as many repeats in the pattern. So I'd like to make a modern quilt, but where do I start? Well, I recommend that you don't do what I did. I saw the G's Bend quilt exhibit in San Francisco and went to the store and purchased all of these fabrics and every other color. And I produced a lot of wasted fabric because quite frankly, I was a new quilter and I had no idea what I was doing. Here's a better approach. You can use one or a combination of any of these to um, trim up the idea of getting started in modern quilting. Use a pattern. Yes, this is a pattern, but it would actually be a really easy quilt to do on your own because the blocks are so large and the designs are basic and complicated. I purchased this coloring book specifically for this TSW presentation, but I really love it. It gives you pages that you can just draw in with your own colors and it sparks your imagination a little bit. Get a quilt journal. This yearbook gives you a place to journal your designs and keep them in a place where you can find them when you need them. Doodle, cut out designs, paste them in, let your imagination run wild. I found these wonderful paper pre-cuts on a website that's specialized in teacher supplies. And I really love these because even though they're five inch hexes on a standard piece of printer paper, it evokes the feel of a full-size quilt, if you imagine them in a larger scale. Also, you can find pre-cut fabrics that'll make your quilt making easier. And I love the results. Go to Home Depot and grab some paint chips. They're your friend, you know, and imagine them into a quilt. The last uh, suggestion is to start small. These cool little coasters are a perfect example of creating a modern quilt in many proportions. I love this little pillow as a starter project. And remember, smaller quilts are a thing and can be super cute. This tiny quilt is one I made to enter to the quilt challenge that Curating Quilts Magazine issued, and I'm proud to say it was accepted and published in the Curves Challenge.
So the main thing is stay loose, relaxed, and practice, practice, practice. I brought my uh, journal and my coloring book. I'll leave them up here in case you want to take one. I have a bunch of uh, my hand at traditional quilting. I started going into modern quilting and I love it so much more because there aren't any rules. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to close the meeting, and um, I just want to um, give out a few reminders. Thank you for everyone who stayed through. <laughs> we ran a little bit longer. We had a lot to cover because we hadn't seen each other in a, in a while. There was so much uh, show and tell. So um, just to remind you about our Founders Day, that's going to be in two weeks. We have our September board meeting, which will be on September 26th. Anyone is welcome to participate in that. Just let me know and I will send you the Zoom link. It is a virtual meeting. Uh, our next general meeting is October 3rd um, here, and it will also be on Zoom, so that's a, a hybrid meeting. Um, this is also the date of our Quiltathon, as Laura and Janet um, let you know. We will not do a, um, a show and tell during that meeting, and that way we can maximize quilt on time. Yes? Quilt is not on Okay, I got that wrong. In person only, and then we'll record it. Um, and, then, um, and then as a reminder, all of these dates are on the website. Uh, on the home page, you just scroll down, we have the dates of everything. Okay, so that concludes our meeting, draws it to the end. Um, there's still a lot of things going on in the back, the library, the treasures table, the boutique. Um, oh, well, no big and, uh, and so that's it. Meeting is adjourned, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Yeah.